Honestly, too many women come on this app, watch one She or Seven Sprinkle Sprinkle video, and then decide that they're deserving of princess treatment, and yet have no class, no grace, no gratitude, no etiquette, no manners, no career prospects, no job, no long-term goals, no practical skills, no hobbies, no interest, and honestly, nothing worth investing in. You can't be selfish, unkind, and cruel to both men and other women, and then expect everyone to hand life to you on a silver platter. That's not the way that it works. So let me raise this question. Are your standards high, or are you just an entitled brat? The reason I bring this up is because somebody just told me in my comment section that my fiancé doesn't do enough for me despite him funding about 90% of my life. I stood up for him and got called a which honestly is good and fine because I would rather be a than be a fucking loser. That's right! Okay, one thing I just realized is men actually have it so hard when it comes to dating because women generally speaking, are just kind of awful. And I'm not trying to come down on women, but y'all need to be better. I mean, I have had things said to me before by women about people I've dated, and it just kind of shows me how women think. So one thing that I used to get a lot is when I would date, I, I typically don't date for looks, okay? Like, looks don't really matter to me. Um, I go for personality and, you know, values, integrity, things like that. And that is what draws me to someone, not their looks. And I know that's probably, like, probably not, no like, normal, but, that, but that's who I am. So when I would date people and I would show my friends, oh, look who I'm seeing, they would literally say, girl, you deserve better. Like, you can do better. I beg your biggest pardon? So you're telling me that a guy's value is solely based on his looks? I thought we weren't doing that to women. I thought we weren't supposed to come down on women's bodies and women's appearances. So why are we doing that to men? Like, don't you get that looks fade and what holds true and consistent is their value, their integrity, their soul, like, their morals, like, what? Y'all are so shallow. I mean, I don't get it. Another thing they would say is whenever I would go through a breakup, they're like, girl, you just gotta hate him. Like, you gotta get angry. Why? What? What's that gonna serve me? I dated them, so chances are I loved them and cared about them, so why would I hate them? Why would I go out of my way to make his life miserable? Like, I don't wanna do that. I'm just like appalled by what goes through women's head. Like it really makes me feel for guys and I've told my guy friends this, like I've told my guy friends like you guys have it rough, like women have it rough too with guys cause guys, you know, usually want one thing. But there are good men out there. But for women, like the majority of them that I've met, they're not so great. And I don't want to discourage anyone here from finding, because I'm sure there are good women out there, but I just feel like we're in, like, this era right now in society where we've built women up so high on a pedestal. Like, women can do anything. Let's not shame women. Let's women support women. And we forgot about the men. Who's there for the men? Why are we not supporting men? Why are we not being kind to men? Why are we in this hating men era? It needs to stop. Anyway. That's my two cents. The 304s stopped supporting men when men walked away from them. Modern women exposed their true nature to men. Men got appalled by it and turned away. Now the 304s are so angry they just hate on men, thinking we will eventually succumb to their complaints. But that will never happen. You got that right. Woo!